turning now to the race for North Carolina governor. The stage has been set for November. On the Republican side, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson will be on the ballot. He received 65% of the vote. He will face off against current Attorney General Josh Stein, who received 70% of the vote in the Democratic primary. North Carolina Democrats are trying to fend off a Republican trifecta. The GOP already controls both chambers of the General Assembly. Incumbent Democratic Governor Roy Cooper is term limited and cannot seek re-election. Now, the men who will look to succeed him are laying out their plans if elected. The things that will make North Carolina great, that will take her to our next level of success. What are those things? Those are those important things. Education and our economy. Those are the things we're going to focus on. My vision for North Carolina is forward-looking and inclusive. It would harness the talents of all of our people so that we can build a North Carolina that is safer and stronger, rooted in our shared values of freedom and opportunity for every person. Robinson and Stein will also face Libertarian Mike Ross on the November ballot. Ross won his party's primary with 59% of the vote. The Republican primary for Lieutenant Governor appears to be heading toward a runoff. Hal Weatherman received about 20% of the vote. His closest opponent, Jim O'Neill, had about 16% of the vote. Candidates must win more than 30% of votes in their race to secure their party's nomination for the general election. If no candidate reaches that threshold, the second place finisher may request a runoff. On the Democratic side, as you see here, Rachel Hunt is the projected winner. She will face the winner of the GOP runoff in November.